Hello everybody, it is me, Lee the Rogue Firefly, and we are back with some more Dreadx collection. And uh, we are now moving on <coughs> to our next game, Undiscovered, by Torpal Duke, who did another game from the last one, but I can't quite remember which one was the Torpal Duke game. Um, a cursed tomb of kings lies hidden deep in the ancient jungle. Explore the tomb, learn its secrets, and find what lies undiscovered. <laughs> Let's just jump into this right away. I'm not, you know, no, no BS. I'm just gonna get in. <laughs> I mean, I, I just kind of BS right there, but you know, I. Yeah. Oh, okay, it does change, but I like how this do. Weird. Undiscovered. <clears throat> Guess so, we'll get into this. Falama. Well. Teenage is married to permanent mysteries. Top secret. Okay. The following footage was recorded from a handheld film camera near a small village. The camera system may have been buried for at least a decade enough to film but itself was still like intact. Expeditions to find the locations depicted on the film reel have so far been fruitless. Several research teams have even failed to return and are considered KIA. The following footage is the recovered contents of that camera. Alright, it's on. Are you recording? Yep, we're good. Sorry. Okay. Good. <clears throat> Hello there, my name is Dr. Marty Williams, and I am an archaeologist as well as a professor of ancient cultures. <clears throat> Not dang. I'm here today at a newly uncovered archaeological site somewhere in the jungles of South America. To my knowledge, I am the first person to set foot on this location since the indigenous people who built it roughly a thousand years ago. Since the site is completely untouched, I have brought along a video camera to document this entire exploration. To this end, I have brought along my ever trusty faithful assistant, not to mention wife, Janet, to film my every step as my personal camera crew. I am just as excited to be here as you are, Marty, and may I say you look great on camera. Yes, well, the introduction, with the introduction out of the way, let the discovery begin. Sir, nothing to you. Thor Earth. What's the back here? Oh, I broke the barrier there for a minute. These runes are positively ancient. Imagine the kinds of things that my light undiscovered here. And the money we'll be making after publishing our findings on them. Now we're talking. Wow, what a view. Oh, did I miss something? Mud hut over here or something. This is why I wanted to bring a camera along to capture it. Words alone would do it justice.
You know, a village this big would normally have lots of <coughs> well, artifacts scattered about, but this is a, one has nothing to at all, just the cold stone. It's like everyone back and moved out before the village came to ruin. Precisely, I wonder what could have caused such an exodus. Maybe they were found by a Sasquatch and had to run. Ridiculous, it's more likely to have been a chupacabra. Let's go back this way real quick. Looked like there were more ruins over here. Well, I could be wrong. No. Not really, I thought there were. Sorry, I guess not. Just an idiot, I guess. Nothing over here. Okay. Let's go up into here. Look, there's a note over there. But aren't we the first people to people here since this place was built? As far as I'm aware, yes. Who could have left it here then? In our conquest in our conquest in the name of of the Empire of Spain, my unit has occupied a nearly a nearby village in search for golden glory. The villagers told us of a nearby ancient tomb that sounds ripe for plundering. They also mentioned that the tomb is cursed, is forbidden for anyone to enter. Ridiculous. The superstition of the locals never failed to amuse me. We shall enter the tomb as soon as we can. Simply incredible, the site was originally discovered by Spanish conquistadors. Why haven't we heard of this before? Surely this would have been written about the history books. No idea, but we must investigate further. Maybe we'll find the answers we seek. Oh, okay. over here. And nothing over here. It's like, oh honey, you're about to fall off into a pit and uh, die. <laughs> fall off the entire thing. The, oh, what's this? A py pyramid? Temple. But these are cold. Wow, this place is incredible. Indeed, this is the most intact site I've ever seen. Let's see what mysteries it holds. These statues are so realistic, excellent craftsmanship. Well, they certainly they had plenty of reference material. Yeah, this place is full of old skeletons. Kinda creepy. It's too. What did you expect? <sighs> Whoa. Reaching the barrier. Anything over here? I wonder what kind of people were buried here. Kings and wise men, most likely. Most noble folk don't get grazed this big. Hmm. 
We have entered the tomb and have thus far seen no sign of any curse. We are protected by God himself. No curses, imaginary or otherwise, would ever, could ever do us harm. Regrettably, we have yet to find any of the gold we were promised by the captain, but he assures us that it must have been hidden further in the, into the tomb. one big skeleton. Were ancient people really that big? <sighs> Sexy seeing if my wife would fall down with me. Wow, wait, that's it. I know, this seems immersion breaking. Well, let's, let, let's see that one more time. Oh. It looks like it's made of stone. Another one of those statues. Darn, I was hoping we had discovered the land of giants. I guess. Would she just end up coming down with me, like normally? Yeah. Okay, that looks a little better. Well, she kind of sometimes goes to the side. We have still not found an ounce of gold in this ghastly place. Once we began, to erase our concerns to the captain, we heard sounds coming from behind a wall. We inspected a couple of con conspicuous torches, and behold, there was a hidden passage behind. One of the villagers must have heard of our coming and moved all the gold even deeper underground. We will find this savage and show him how we deal with those who stand in the way of the Empire. Ah, looks like the tomb goes even deeper than we thought. I don't see any secret passage here, though. Well, it wouldn't be very secret if, we were, if it were obvious, would it? Let's keep looking around. Maybe we can find these conspicuous tor torches. No. When I try to skip it, access is the note. What do you think? Would a sword make a good souvenir? I don't know. Would that count as grave robbing? Only a little bit. Just leave it. Besides, we're the only living things in here. It's not like we're going to be attacked by monsters or something. Oh. must have been left behind by the previous occupants. Let's take them. They might turn out to be useful. Q. Press R with the torch equipped to light the objects in front of it. Press escape to check or remap your controls. It says escape. Okay. Does it actually still keep the yeah the filter the grain or whatever the graininess when I uh... let's put it away for now. Okay, we will need it right now. I agree, let's say we light them to see what happens. These are so... As soon as that... Did it twice, but skipped whatever that other thing was. A 
Amazing, a secret passage into a cave system. It looks man-made. I wonder what they would have used this tunnel for. It sure is dark. Yes, but don't be afraid. More discoveries await. We may run into a rat or two, but I trust we can hold our own against the likes of them. If you say so. <laughs> and anyways, this reminds me of a dream I had once. I walked down an endless tunnel, alone for what felt like hours. It was horrible. Did you ever get to the end? Oh no, I was eventually killed by some unseen presence in the darkness. Then I woke up. Lovely. That doesn't make much. It doesn't make any sense. But check out the wall. It doesn't look too sturdy. Oh, this may be a job, job for my trusty pickaxe. Stand back, honey. Let's see what this thing can do. Sorry. discovered that the tomb connects to a natural cave. It goes on much wider and deeper than we had imagined. So Sanchez was ordered to map out our surroundings as we go. We have still not caught sight of the thief we are after, but we have heard more sounds in the cave. Sometimes they are like growls or groans, others like the voice of a man indistinguishable in the echo of the cave. Sometimes, though, they come as a whisper, not to the ear, but seemingly in the mind begin to dislike this place and may soon tell the captain that we should head back. No comment on that guy? Oh my. Oh, they're just statues, thank goodness. Did you think they were real skeletons? N no, it's just not something you want to see in the dark. This must have been the storage closet for statues. I wonder why they made so many skeletons, though. I wonder when we can turn around and leave. You think we just... can? I, I guess we could, but... I might try that when we get to this point. I might like we do this. the devil is that? It looks like another one of those statues. Is it wearing armor? I don't think we should go near it. Let's go near it. Let's get away. Let's leave. we just leave? Well, I guess we could. <laughs> wow. Maybe I was supposed to be like an idiot and continue. I don't know. literally just leave like that I mean we, we did just see a skeleton get up and try to attack us I mean I, I would assume it's time to go home 
great. Yeah, I'd say it's time to go home. Come on, sweetie, let's go home. That's it. That was our adventure. Okay. Time to go, honey. <sighs> no. Let's go. Okay, so I made it back to the cave. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to go through. We got, like, I literally went back all the way to the camp, and it's like... No. Nah. I mean, I mean, it did say we just went down here and died, so let's go down here and die, I guess, so. I wonder if we can light them on fire, though. Like, just go up and, like, with the torch. Or does it just restart? Oh, I can't, I can't, I, I can't light them on fire. It's another one of the conquistadors, or what's left of him anyway. This one's not walking. Strange, why is this skeleton not reanimated like the other? Look, there's a note next to him. Uh, Sanchez went crazy and attacked his own comrades, ran him but something about the new god. We were forced to put him down. Unfortunately, his map was destroyed in the mayhem. We have begun the search for the way back to the surface, but some of us fear we may not make it. Well, this must be Sanchez that answers the question. How bizarre, the new god, the dark, must have gotten. The dark must have gotten to him. Uh, go this way. I mean, is this the way we're supposed to go? Could I go? Their way. Is he just protective or whatever? Just doesn't want to. Gonna be one down here too. Well, 
No. So we're supposed to go this way. I just want to explore every possible path. Like, what kind of place is this? It's ridiculous. Perhaps they're traps to deter thieves. Hey, the bottom of the pillar doesn't look too stable. I bet you could destroy it with your pickaxe. Ah, yes, I believe you're right. Let's find out, shall we? Just seeing if we can fall. Good thing I didn't fall the other way. You were lucky. I feel like this one's going to. This one, or the next one. I barely could see my way around that one. Oh my gosh, it looked like I lost my head for a minute. What the heck? In our search for a way out, we decide to venture deeper into the cave to see if there may be another path to the surface. The walls had changed from cold stone to a stinking, slimy, flesh-like material. What kind of cave is this? Some fear that we have descended into hell itself. We have become separated in the darkness. At first I could hear my comrades calling out, but the walls have drowned out any sound, and I am now totally alone, and I th think sometimes about Sanchez's ravings about the new god, and wonder if there was some truth to his madness. Poor chap, it sounds like all of the marauding conquistadors lost their minds wandering blindly down here. But what did he mean by flesh-like material? No idea. Holy bugaloni. What the? I guess that's what he meant. What kind of place is this? Well, some place we need to go, I guess, because we're stupid and we just don't turn back like I tried to do earlier. Because we're not smart people, fuck that. I feel that I will meet my doom down here, alone in the dark, with my comrade, surely lost beyond all hope. I cannot stop thinking about the new god, or rather, I cannot stop thinking about me. I feel a presence peering in through the cracks of my mind. This is either the work of the one true god or the devil himself. We shall see which greets me as I wander these halls. Seen it glorious as a new god, I wish to never leave its side. I shall protect it from any that seek to disturb its halls and its slumber. Praise be to him. Yeah, we're just dumb, I guess. Well, this must be the new god we've heard so much about. What do we do now? It looks like we're trapped in here. Oh, I can't stand being under his gaze. I've got to do something about it. Like what? All you have is a torch. Exactly.
levels have changed back to normal here. Maybe that means I'm close to a way out. I can't believe Marty will be lost in there. But the loss will not be in vain. Once I escape, I'll polish my finding and make sure the world knows what happened here. How we know how I discovered it. God. Whoa. World leaders will lust for its power, and only I know where to find it. I'll make a fortune selling it to the highest bidder. I just need to escape first. Oh, wow. Turns out I'm scum. It doesn't matter. And I'm guessing it'd be the same if, uh, it was the dude. I mean, it says I played as the dude, but technically I played as Death the Wham. I could look down a little more. Oh. out of this other place just a little further. Oh. It's a lie. Oh, I'm back in control. What? No, 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 no. So warm, so beautiful. Praise the new God. Oh. Jorbal Duke. Thank you. Four, four, undiscovered. Well, that seemed to be it for undiscovered. I like that, even though it had some great game-breaking moments with the, uh, with the lady glitching through, which shouldn't have happened, but, you know, um, I liked it, I liked it a lot, it was cute, so, I'm happy, I'm excited, I mean, like, I'm excited for the, these, not you, no, I mean, <laughs> I'm excited to see you what did you have to offer, um, I've never actually watched it, but I've seen some parts of it. So I'm interested to see how it will go for me. I know that I think there's like three different endings, and I'll try to get all three if I can and do the best of my abilities. Um, but then next we'll be doing Touched by an Outer God by Wither Studios. So join me next time for some Dread X. And uh, we'll get us to some more of stuff. There's also Charlotte's Exile, The End of Days, and like I said, Supper for Love. That's <laughs> cute. And finally, we'll end with the toy shop, and also, whatever's down here, I guess, the basement, as I think I saw outside. So, um, yeah. next will be this one. So, uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll uh, see you guys later. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.